Hello, this is Mr. Question Mark, and today I'm going to show you how. Hang on a second. Yeah, that was it. How to build my 33rd edition Lego puzzle box. Sorry, I had to check which one it was. So, anyways, I. Yeah, here we go. So, we'll start out with this, which is a two. It is an 8x8 base. So, just any 8x8 plate or. It can be two layers. If it's like this and you don't have an 8x8 plate, then make it two layers so that it's all solid and together. And then you want to build a layer, hang on a second, a layer of bricks. You're going to need to get your bricks and build them all around it. Kind of like this. So there's... Oh yeah, oops, I forgot to turn on my lamp for better lighting. I hope that's better. <laughs> um, yeah, that's probably better. But anyways, you build a layer of bricks all around like this. Kind of like starting there and up there and around there. And then kind of that. And those two bricks, see those? These bricks, they kind of have a different kind of stud. Those pieces, see it has a hole in it? Those two one by one bricks right there need to have a hole in it right there. Anything else doesn't have to have a hole in it, but it can. Um, it'll just, it might mess up the puzzle. Now you get tiles. And you build them here. And here. So build tiles right there. And a little bit right there. Now you get one of these, a 2x6 plate, or whatever you can do with that for that and get three of these one by one bricks with a hole in it and one of these little corner pieces and build that in right there and this is your beginning so now to build on top of that you're gonna build bricks all around on the top of this kind of like that so just build on top of all that and now get either an 8x8 eight eight plate or a bunch of smaller plates as I have here because at the time I was building this which was actually quite a while ago I didn't have very good pieces because they were all being used in puzzle boxes but now, of course, I've taken apart all my puzzle boxes, except for the ones I haven't done videos on. So, anyways, cover the top with plates. Now you build bricks like this. That brick has, a, has holes in it, but it doesn't have to. I'd actually prefer it if it doesn't have holes. You know. So, let me get these. And sorry if I'm going too fast or too slow for you guys, because I haven't done a puzzle box video in a while. In a really long time. So build bricks around like this in this little area and kind of in a hook, I guess you could say, I don't know. And then build tile oops. Get tiles, get them in right there. Right there, and now you're gonna need a six by six. I mean, not six by six, a four by six tile, or whatever you can do for that. Because I don't think I know they exist, because I've seen them on Lego Digital Designer, but um, I don't have any, and they're pretty rare. So, anyways, build tiles in there, that area, and now just build bricks kind of on the top of all these like that so brick in the middle there bricks all around there like that and you're almost done with your main piece you just need to cover it with plates and I know some of these plates are gonna probably hang off a lot especially on mine I have smaller plates, but um, you're gonna you're gonna put things inside it. So once you have all those, you're done with that piece, and you can scoot it off to the side. 
Now for your next piece, you're going to need a 4x6 plate or whatever you can do for that and build bricks and tiles all around it. So all around the edges you're going to build bricks and tiles. It can have holes in it if you want it to, but um do that. You also need some Oh wait, I'll I'll do that part later. But um you need a 1x4 plate or whatever you can do for that. Build a, a brick layer on top of that and a tile layer on top of that. That's where you have something that looks similar to that. Then you need more bricks, plates, and tiles, but um, you need to build a brick layer like this. Make sure this one has a hole in it. That brick right there that has a hole in it. And then build plates and tiles on top of it. So like that. Don't build the plates underneath it or on top of it. Just do it like this. Bricks, plates, and then tiles. Like that. And now get another 1x4 plate or whatever you can do for that. I actually have studs there. 1x1 round plates. And then build bricks on top of that. Of course it doesn't have to have holes. And then tiles across the top. It can just be that. And you need one of these pieces, which is known as a 3 long 3M uh, connector peg. I like to call it a long Technic peg. So put it in there, set that off to the side, and get one of these, which is a cross axle. And it is, if you take a plate and measure it, it is as long as five studs. So you take this, put it off to the side, and you also need some type of treasure. I have the Shurikens of Ice from Ninjago. And yeah, so now that is all you need. You just need to put all these together now. Take uh, the the treasure, put it inside there, inside this. Make sure nothing is sticking out the top or anything. And just slide this into that space there. Now, take this. This is sort of a key thing. I don't know why that was put there, but... Um, that just goes in like that. And then you get these two pieces. Put this there. And then this, stick it through the hole. All the way through. It won't go all the way through. It'll like stick out just a tiny bit. And then this piece, you put this piece in here. And then kind of lift up. Everything that can fall out, lift up on the tile underneath it. So there's a tile underneath that, there's tiles, and tiles there. So, yeah, now you're done. Now to solve it, if you don't want to learn how to solve it, if you want to figure it out yourself, pause the video right here, or just exit out, go somewhere else, um, because I'm going to show, I'm going to reveal secrets. So, anyways, how to solve it. We're going to pull this out, and dump a tool out, turn it around to the back. See this thing? Grab it, push it in places. Doesn't it doesn't go anywhere? It has nothing to do with the puzzle. I don't even know why it's there. And stick it through that. Stick this rod through the hole, and this will come out. And turn it around. Pull this out. Push this in there. All the way, and it doesn't do anything. If you push it more, though. This will come out, and there's your treasure. Now, to put this back together, it's a little bit different. You don't just push that back in. First of all, you need to pull this out, because if you just push that back in, you won't be able to get this out. So, just push that back in, and then you put this back into there, and this into there, and this back on there. Yeah, make sure it gets that hole. That's what that hole's for, is that. And then plug that back into there. And there you go. See ya.